Jake, I want to say that uh, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Yes. But I appreciate you owning up to being wrong on your take on my Georgia Bulldogs and how they were going to perform against the Florida game. Yeah. I, I tried I tried telling you, even before Georgia's bye week, that Georgia was going to send a message against Florida. And that mm. message was, powerless does not equal powerless. Oh, God. Put it on us. Right bars. <laughs> bars. Terminator, mo- Terminator mode has been activated for my dogs, except they make the T-1000 look like a darn Tickle Me Elmo. Okay? Yeah, uh, I love and, it. Uh, I'm, looking at this, I'm looking at this Missouri game, and the earlier call, caller mentioned the line, 15 and a half or 16, depending on where you can get it. And I'm telling you guys, it's not nearly enough. Lock it up. The Bulldogs are going to crush the Tigers in Athens. Hey, hey, here's what I'll say, John. Number one, number one, uh, I've been a staunch Georgia defender throughout this whole season, but I did think that Florida, with nothing to lose, with Carson Beck not having Brock Bowers, didn't know how healthy Ladd really was. I was, I tell you what I was the most impressed with, though, and I think it shows you this team's maturity. Florida, again, can play free. No ex- I mean, you always have expectations of Florida, and there's a high standard, but I don't think anybody would fault them if this was a close game and Florida lost with what Billy and them have done. Florida comes out, goes right down the field, and scores, really doing what they want and scoring how they want. Georgia, without Brock Bowers, did not panic on offense, mm-hmm. did not panic on defense, did not panic on special teams, and they thoroughly kicked their ass for the rest of the game. What? What? If I was a opposing fan, if I was at anybody but a Georgia fan and my team had a chance to win it, what would scare me most was the maturity that I saw once they gave up that opening touchdown from Georgia because that tells you something. That tells you that this team learned from their predecessors. They don't get too high. They don't get too low. I did think Florida had a good chance to cover. Not wrong a lot, but I was wrong on that one, John. Your dogs. I tell you what, Brock's coming back too. John, John, I was in the boat with you, baby. Don't forget that. We're swimming together. John, are they going to three-peat... Ooh, you know what to say. That's John. a tough one. There's some t- there's some tough competition out there, but I will tell you this, okay? I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen this week. All right, the playoff committee is going to release their initial rankings, and Georgia is not going to be number one. And we saw what happened last year when the dogs got snubbed in the initial oh Kirby's ranking, praying for that the opportunity. Yeah, they actually had the opportunity to play the number one team the very next weekend. And the number one offense in Tennessee walked into Sanford Stadium and left with 13 points. Yeah. And Missouri ain't no Tennessee from last year. I can promise you that. Darth Kirby has taken over the Senate, and Missouri is looking like a bunch of younglings right now. So mm. lock up the Bulldogs. They are top 10 in every category on offense and defense, and they are the number one team in third down conversion rate in the country. Yeah, well, all they do, they live in third and two, which yeah. which is a great way to live. So if you're saying Kirby, Darth Darth Kirby is now Look, you're taking always... over the Senate. Has he been watching Eli Drinkwitz's career with great interest? Maybe. I heard he has. I mean, look, they're only supposed to win seven games, guys. So like, yeah, I, I, yeah it's yeah, amazing just, what they're doing just, man, so so with this seven this. and five roster. Appreciate it, John. I tell you what is right. Great skincare, whether you're male, whether you're female. Look, we got Christmas coming up. Men, trust me, this is a great gift. You want to get one, you want to cross one of those gifts off the list? I know you got them just like I do, right? You got that number again, you're trying to hit that number, want to make sure they're all good. With our friends at Genucell, they have a new product. It's called Genucell 3. Everybody's talking about it. It takes away eye bags, puffiness, it disappears along with dark circles, fine lines, crow's feet, and it'll firm up your eye contour area, which helps everybody. Genucell 3 is smoother, more luxurious. And it uses advanced technology, not that old stuff, to deliver complex vitamins and minerals directly to your face for the instant hydration. It's like Gatorade for your skin. All right, how great is that? The new Jenny Cell technology gives your skin longevity to keep you looking young and healthy for years to come. Our producer, Justine, loves using the Jenny Cell under eye cream. All right, giving her a shout out. We have the new Jenny Cell 3 product on the way so she can add this to her skincare routine. So when the Giants blow it, against the Jets or whoever they play next, and she ages six years, she can reverse that yes. by using Genucel 3. Uh, the Fall Classic package includes a jawline treatment too for a more firm neck and jawline. 
You want that superhero look? We know we know what has to happen. You go to genucel.com slash booster. That's G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash booster or new option. All right, call 800 skin 211 for extra di- for the 211 on extra discounts. This amazing fall package gets results in 12 hours or less. Immediate effects are included for free. That's genucel.com slash booster, or you can call 800 skin 211. That's 800 skin 211. Don't be afraid. Get some skin in the game. Get some skin in your game. <laughs> around your face. Hey, YouTube, whether it's college football, whether it's NFL, whether it's Major League Baseball, college basketball, NBA, NHL, Quidditch, and underwater basket weaving, we got you covered here at Crane & Company. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button on the videos, and turn that notification bell on so you know even if it's tiddlywinks when we're talking about it.